Right, Pisces, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Aries season reading, and you are at the Pisces season reading. Please remember to cross, watch, cross, watch to see what is coming up for your partners and your friends. This is the Biz Money and Wealth reading. It is the season of the Sagittarian. It begins from March 21st until April 19th. All right. Pisces, I see first the Three of Swords. So some sort of a heartbreak for you, Pisces, in the first week. Um, then we see it is not really for you. You're heartbroken that an Aries or a Sagittarian has lied or created some sort of an issue. I see that some of you, Pisces, is going to be standing your ground because a young Aries or a Sagittarian person had not been honest. The truth is going to be coming out in the third week and you could be um, got caught up in some sort of a legal issue. And I see that you Pisces in the last week is going to be happy that you finally got rid of an Aries or a Sagittarian person. This person is between the ages of 25 and 50. You recognize that this person has not been very honest. Okay. So some sort of a dishonesty on the work floor or in your business with a young Aries or Sagittarian person. And now the truth is coming out and you're happy that you make the decision in order to get rid of this person because this person could have caused you or your company a huge legal um, problem. All right. So Pisces, you are going to be making a decision. It's a decision you're going to be making in the first week that um is you know it's it's going to be affecting a young Aries or Sagittarian person because you recognize that this person have not been speaking the truth. Please remember to like and share these videos and use the link below in order to choose one of these crystals to see how you're going to be dealing with issues in the Aries season, okay? So this reading has a, an extended by choosing one of the crystal. There's going to be more information about what is going to be happening and how to deal with some of the issues that is going to be affecting you because a lot of you are dealing with an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person and uh, you are going to be recognizing that this person has been very dishonest and people are going to be seeing the truth of this young Aries Lee or fire sign person and you, you know, you are protecting yourself from some sort of a legal issue because you recognize what this person, a lot of you are dealing with an Aries Lee or Sagittarius and a Libran, a Libran. So, um, a lot of you at the workplace or in business is dealing with a young Aries Lee or Sagittarius person. And the dishonesty you're going to be finding out about this person. And you're also going to be finding out something about a Libran. Whether they were working together or they were co-hosting together or they were collaborating together, you're going to be finding out something. All right, let's look at the first week. So the first week, what we see here in the first week is a three of sword standing right up. And this is Saturn in Libran. So a lot of you are going to be firing a Libran or firing an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian between the ages of 25 and 50 because you recognize some sort of a discordancy uh, they could have created a whole lot of chaos and, and, and problem. And you're going to be fine. Um, so I see sadness for them. Sadness for you because you recognize Saturn in Libra is about discipline and order. And they have been breaking the rules and regulation. And you got to replace this. So I see a lot of you could be firing or discarding or this or barring a Libra and a Aries Leo or Sagittarius is a five sign person because you have recognized that these two people have created a whole lot of issue. I see sadness is going to be coming up for Aries Leo or Sagittarius. You got to see who is this? Maybe it's your partner. Maybe it's uh, someone at the work floor. But these two people have not been honest. And this is going to be coming out. So whenever Saturn is in Libra, it's about you firing and removing someone and disbarding someone um, from out your company, from out of the department. You could be re re um, you know, taking back their access because you recognize that these two people have been 
um, or these people, because it doesn't have to be a Libra and a fire sign person. It could be a, um, people who have broken some sort of rules and regulation. I see that you Pisces are recognizing Jesus. Never expect this from this Libra or never expect this from this person. But that is it. You can never vouch for people Pisces because now you're recognizing that whoever this Libra or this Aries Leo or Sagittarius is or this person is, has not been very honest. And Saturn in Libra is going to be showing you that Saturn is about awakening you to something and letting you see that um, these people are not really being honest. The second week, we're looking at the week of the 29th of March until the 4th of April. What is happening? Um, you are dealing with an Aries Leo or fire sign person. This is someone who you have dealt with in the past and recognize that, um, that this person has not been honest. Because if you notice, this is a past thing because the person is someone in the past that you recognize. You could have come in contact with this young person. This is about the air in fire. So it's a young person between the ages of 25 and 45. You could have taken this person onto your wing or you could have been working with this person in the past and recognize that this person was very dishonest and this person have created a whole lot of issues. So it's someone who is a, um, a Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you're going to be recognizing that this person have not spoken the truth to you. So you are going to be recognizing that in the past, it could have been when you took this person on, their experience and their skills and knowledge is not what they're showing up and you're going to be recognizing that something is off by this person, that this person could have been using um, uh, illusion in order for you to be connected with them and you're going to be recognizing um, that you were trapped by an Aries Leo or Sagittarius because they give you false information to let them believe, to give you know, to, to make you believe in them and you're going to be recognizing that they have lied and manipulated you. So a lot of you Pisces in the second week, the week of the 29th to the 4th, the 4th of April is going to be recognizing the dishonesty and how a Aries Leo or Sagittarian has manipulated you um, in a situation when it's on the work floor, um, whoever this person is, is in your team or in your department, or someone you were doing business with has not been honest and have created illusion and have you trapped in some sort of an illusion and you're going to be releasing yourself out um, as you move to the third week. The third week is from the 5th of April until the 11th. The 5th of April until the 11th. And the 5th of April until the 11th, what we're dealing with uh, is that we have the energy of the two of swords in reverse. This is good because the secrets in Libran, so a, a Libran, and it's really showing up, uh, the secrets, uh, some sort of a secret of a Libran and an Aries Leo Sagittarius is coming out, okay? So they can no longer keep the secrets because the two of swords is now in reverse, revealing that a Libra had a lot of secrets. A Libra had a lot of secrets and it is now coming out. So the moon in Libra, and this is what it is, a lot of people need to understand what these uh, um, message is and what comes behind and before. The Libran and um, the moon in Libran is about secrets, secrets that someone had. And you are dealing with the Librans and the, the fire sign people here is the Earth Sagittarian. And now you're going to be recognizing secrets of a Libran. You can see the Libran in the past, the, the um, Aries the Earth Sagittarian person in the past that is between the ages of 25 and 50. And the Libra that is coming behind in the next week, where you recognize that these two people, this um, Aries the Earth Sagittarian person together with a Libra, had a lot of secrets and it is all coming out. So a lot of you Pisces is going to be blown out of the water in the third week, the week of the 5th till the 11th. You're going to be blown out of the water because some information is going to be coming out about an Aries Leo or Sagittarian between the ages of 25 and 50 that you're going to be, oh my God, 
you are going to be so blown out of the water because this is like secrets that you think, oh my God. And you are going to be recognizing what was going on. Then we are looking at the fourth week. And, in, you know, going back to the third week, they're asking me to go back into the third week. Going back into the third week, ladies and gentlemen, it's about someone tried to bring, someone had some sort of an illusion. Because if you notice, uh, the three of swords was, this needs to end, Saturn and Libra in the first week. And then in the, the third week, you're having the moon in Libra. And the moon in Libra is the secrets of a Libra. The secrets of a Libra, the secret of an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian. The secret of someone is now coming out that was holding you in some sort of a illusions. And you're going to be recognizing that this person has been um, giving you false information for a very long time. And this is going to be all coming out. As we look at the fourth week, the fourth week is from the 12th until the 19th. And I want to say to a lot of you, you are going to be coming to inner peace, okay? You are definitely going to be coming into inner peace. And this is Jupiter in Libra. And you're going to be so happy that whatever people were keeping um, on the wraps is now out. So... Um, it is a situation there. There was so much secrets and these secrets could be having to do with also management, people in management that was having some sort of a secret, secrets with some sort of a situation that was going on in a corporation institution. So here it is that you're so happy that all of these secrets, because it's Jupiter and it's lucky for you, Pisces. So so you are going to be luckily coming out of some sort of a lawsuit because you're going to be recognizing that um, someone was not speaking the truth and has kept you in illusion and you're going to be missing a lawsuit. So if you're business people, you're going to be recognizing um, someone and hold some sort of a secrecy and illusion and it has to do with some sort of information that was kept from you. And it can be a situation where management have done it, but it is a situation where you are recognizing that people around you, um, people, uh, uh, fire sign people between the ages of 25 and, 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 and 25 and uh, 50 was not speaking the truth. And, uh, um, because of that, some sort of a legal issue that some of you have with your business, this is going to be over because luckily Jupiter is going to be helping you out because of secrets that came out the week before. So um, Pisces is going to be absolutely powerful because it's as if a fire sign person has kept you under the wraps and was not being very honest, a fire sign person and a Libran. And they had secrecy. And it doesn't have to be these two people, but it is coming up for most of you Pisces, but it could be other people. So definitely it's going to be an Aries Leo or Sagittarian, all right? And also Librans that you're going to be recognizing because it's as if the Librans could be showing up that, okay? Or you could be finding it out about the Librans. So you, you know, this is just clear information, especially in the third week, the secrets the third week was the moon in Libra, where the the um, swords is open up. There's no more illusion. You're not blindfolded by this Leo or this fire sign person anymore because you recognize this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person was not being honest. So you're like happily. So if there was some sort of a legal issue, Pisces in the fourth week, Jupiter in Libra is coming in. So you're going to be winning a lawsuit and winning a big because they recognize that you weren't not aware that this fire sign or this air sign person was bringing you in some sort of an illusion and was not being honest to you. I do love you guys. Remember to use the link below in order to choose one of the crystal, whatever that speak to you. Um, whatever messages that speak to you, choose the crystal, uh, the um, symbol above it. And then that is going to be telling you and giving you more information and how to um, overcome the situation that is going to be coming up in this Sagittarian season. I do love you guys. Please remember to thumbs up, like, and share these videos. I hope to see you for the monthly reading. It is going to be powerful, the Sagittarian season for you guys. 
And remember, thumbs up, leave a message, let me know um, what is happening and transpiring. And keep abreast of these reading every week. Come back and listen to what is going to be coming up in this week because that is going to be exhilarating you and giving you a push and a headway out. I gotta go. Yeah.